Hello everybody, welcome to the very first episode of Free's 3D Prints. My name is Free, I'll be your host, or whatever. Anyway, so I posted this up on uh, the Creality Ender 3D group, Creality Ender 3 Pro group on Facebook. Um, got a lot of interesting questions, so I, thought I decided to make a video and a YouTube channel and Instagram and all the other stuff. So, this is my uh, LS3. No, I did not design this. I am not the designer. The original designer is uh, Eric the Pool Boy, and I will put that in the description so you guys can go to his Thingiverse um, page and look at all of his stuff that he's made. He's made a lot of really cool stuff. Um, he created the original block. Um, and then another designer on there, a uh, guy by the name of Dan Can 13 f um, He did like the power steering pump, the alternator, the crank pulley, throttle body, all that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> so let's go over basic logistics of building this engine. So you're going to need a lot of PLA. Um, this thing weighs in roughly at around five and a half pounds, five pounds ish. Um, there is a lot of time involved. There's about 700 hours in printing, 120 hours in labor, putting it together, sanding, the fitting parts, and this and that and the other thing. So now let's go over the PLA colors. Obviously, black is black, red is red, blue is blue. Um, I get a lot of questions on the silver, so the silver is just a silver silk PLA. Um, the headers, which I get a lot of questions about because people think they're really cool, I do as well. Those are printed in what's called a champagne silk gold. Um, got it off of Amazon and everything, so let's go over the rest of the engine. Um, yes, this is a functioning engine. No, it doesn't run on gas or anything else like that. It's got a little motor that turns everything over. So if I turn that on, you get the, see it rotate and all that kind of cool stuff. Also, you have the valve train that does valve training things. Opening and closing valves. Everything's held together with magnets. Um, I'm going to turn it off here because it's you can turn it up and down. It's got different, it's got a uh, variable PWM voltage regulator. So the intake comes off. It's got a little throttle body. Headers come off. Head comes off. Valley cover comes off. And you can actually see the pistons go up and down. That's kind of cool. Um, everything's color coded for intake and exhaust. Intake is blue, exhaust is red. What's really cool is that I printed this on a um, mirror bed, so glass ish. And if I can get the right angle here, you can actually see just how smooth it is. It's very smooth, very flat. Um, so everything fits together really well. So I built this for my boss. Um, he is the owner of Hot Rods by Dean in Phoenix, Arizona. He's nationally, internationally known actually um, as a hot rod builder, as a very well known hot rod, hot rod builder. Um, he's just a really cool boss. Uh, so I decided to build this for him to kind of show him, hey, I appreciate you and this is what I want to do for you. So. I printed it for him. Um, I have given it to him and then took it back again because I'm making upgrades. Um, like I said, I didn't design anything. The only thing that I designed myself um, in Tinkercad were the fuel rails that say Hot Rods by Dean. Uh, yeah, that was, it was really fun. Actually, I'm learning a lot about CAD and stuff like that. CAD in quotation marks. Um, it is Tinkercad for crying out loud, but you get the concept. Anyways, so 
as I'm building it and stuff like that, I'm learning more and more stuff. Um, and like I said, this was a really fun build for me. Um, and then I decided, well, who wants just a plain intake and plain valve covers? I mean, that's the first thing you do when you buy a new engine, right? You go and put an eight stack on it. Whoop, you guys can't see that. Let me move you guys up a little bit. There you go, eight stack. So, did an eight stack, and well, who likes stock valve covers? Nah. Get rid of those. And, set you down here for a second. Mm, so now we have these cool valve covers. Now that's a cool looking engine. And this is a fully functional throttle body. Uh, oh, you, you guys can see in there, here we go. They actually open and close. All eight of them. So, yeah, like I said, this is a really fun build. Uh, I had a lot of fun building it. The belt belt is made out of TPU. Um, the tensioners are actually, actually tension, like a real car. And the belt obviously comes off like a like a real car. You know? um, yeah, I learned a lot actually printing this. I learned how to print in TPU. I learned a little bit of a CAD. I learned that I can actually do a lot more than I thought I could. You know, when I first started this, I was just like, I bought a 3D printer. One of my buddies was actually like, "What are you gonna do with a 3D printer? What are you gonna What are you gonna make?" And I was like, "Whatever I want." And that's the that's the cool thing about having a 3D printer is that if you can think it up in your head and put it on, on, on a computer, you can print it. You can make your own parts. So that aside, so uh, there's another person in my company, or in the company, uh, named Daryl. Daryl is uh, Dean's brother, and he likes Toyota engines. And so I'm, I am in the process of building him a 22RE. This is... A basic Toyota four-cylinder, 2.4 liter. It's got the little fan, which is kind of cool. Um, it also does have valve train, just just like the LS. It does function, go up and down. It's got the pistons. On this one, I thought it was kind of clever. I took some green PLA and printed up little coolant passages, so you could actually see that there's coolant in it. Kind of cool. Anyway, so I've been working on this, and which gets me to my next point. As I'm learning CAD and stuff like that, I'm like, well, you know, who really, you know, wants a four cylinder unless it's got a big turbo on it? There you go. Big turbo. So this is also designed by Eric the Pool Boy, the engine block. The turbo, I believe, is done by uh, Dan Can 13F. This is off of a Subaru WRX STI, or also known as an EJ20. Um, I did not design the turbo, which is magnetic, by the way, and is functional. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wrong way. There you go. Right way. Um, so, 